All right, so today we're working on finding fraction quotients. We're still on lesson 12, pages 123 and 124. Her example problem says there are four packages of printer paper to be divided equally among six classrooms. How much paper will each classroom get? There are four packages for six classrooms to share. They have that modeled here. One, two, three, four packages of paper and they've split it into six. So they have that as four divided by six. If you divide each package into six, as they've done here, each classroom would get one sixth of each package. So you can see that in green right here. One sixth of each package from four packages is the same as four sixths of a package. So they've done that two ways. So we have our one sixth times four packages is four sixth. Or they've just taken four and they've divided it by six classrooms to get four sixth. Each classroom gets four sixth of a package in all. Number one says, look at the example problem. Which statement is true about the amount of printer paper each classroom gets? Is it more than half a package? So we're looking at our final answer over here. Is it less than half a package? Is it equal to one half a package? Or is it more than one whole package? All right, so just glancing over here, I know that this right here is half. So it's a little bit more than half a package because I know that half of six is three. So it's a little bit more than half a package. Number two says, suppose only five classrooms share four packages of printer paper. How would the model in the example problem change? How would the answer change? Well, if we were dividing it by five classrooms instead of six, each rectangle here would be divided into five. So that's the first way it would change. And so then the answer would change as well. It would be instead of four over six, it would be four over five. All right, so our next question says, Trish is taking care of the Han family's dogs. The Hans leave seven cans of dog food for the three days they'll be away. How much food will the dogs get each day if Trish feeds them an equal amount each day? So you need to show your work for this one. So I'm going to take my seven cans of dog food and divide it by three days. This is where I'm showing my work. And remember this division sign is the same thing as a fraction bar. So my answer is seven over three, which is the same thing as saying seven divided by three. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a mixed number. That way it's a little bit more meaningful for me for an answer. My denominator is gonna be three, it's the same thing. How many times can three go into seven? That's two times because three times two is six. One more gets me up here to seven. So my answer, how much food will the dogs get each day if Trish feeds them an equal amount each day? Two and one third cans of dog food. Now, number four says, look at problem three. How many more cans of dog food would Trish need if she needed to feed the dogs three cans each day? So right now she's feeding them two and one third cans each day and the hands left seven cans of dog food. So if I know she leaves them seven cans of dog food and they're getting two and a third cans each day, I'm just gonna say two more cans. How do I know that? Because two more cans would mean nine cans total I know 
that if I take 9 and I divide it by 3, I'm going to put this in parentheses, 9 divided by 3, I get 3. So if I even wanted to make a little model of it, I'm not a great drawer, I will go ahead and tell you art is not my number one subject. So I'm going to be dividing them into sections of three. We originally had seven cans, which would be stopped right here, and we were having to go every two and one third. Now we're going to go ahead and have three where we're able to divide it by three. So two more cans right here gave us nine cans total, which we're still dividing it by three. So we could go ahead and feed our dogs three cans each day for the three days that the hands are out of town. And our last problem says, Gus is making 48 ounces of spiced cider. If he serves an equal amount to seven people, will each person get more than one cup of cider or less than one cup of cider? And I want us to focus over here on our helpful hint that says, I know that one cup is the same as eight ounces because that's going to help us out in a minute. So I'm going to take my 48 and divide it by seven. So I'm going to put 48 over seven and I'm going to change it into an Right now it's in an improper fraction form and I'm gonna change it into a mixed number. So I'm gonna leave my denominator as a seven. Seven goes into 48 six times because seven times six is 42. How many more gets me up to 48? Would be six. So six and six sevenths is actually less than one cup of cider. Because remember, one cup of cider is the same as eight ounces, and we got six and six sevenths. So Gus is serving less than one cup of cider to each of his guests.